I'm going to teach you how to play the game Mathological Liar. Can you solve the math mystery? When you pick up the tub of Mathological Liar, this is how it will look. There are different baggies with different skills that you can practice, and so you're going to pull out the skill that you want to practice. Today I picked addition and subtraction of numbers. When you carefully open the bag and get out all the cards, you'll see that there are different case numbers. There you can see four, three, and one, and there's two underneath. You have to choose which case you are going to solve, and there are four cards per case. I picked out the cards I want. I wanted to solve case one first, and I put the rest back in the bag, and I closed the bag up so I wouldn't lose the other cards. Now it's time for me to read the case. It says a movie company is coming to Star City. It promised to use the people in town as extras in the film. The company sent letters telling the people when to come to the set. But today, too many people came to the movie set. There were so many extra extras, there was no room for the real stars. The mayor wants to know who is behind this mix-up. Who mixed up the extras and how do you know? You and your group are going to want to get out four whiteboards at least so that you can spread out the four different cards on different whiteboards so they can be solved easily without having any math work confusion. As you can see, I laid out my four clue cards here. I read the first clue card and then I solved it and I saw that, well, their math was correct so it can't be that person. Then I solved this clue number two and they did the correct math too so it can't be that person. Then I solved clue number three, and they did the correct math too, so I knew it couldn't be that person either. Then I solved clue number four, and their math was wrong, so that person is guilty, and they're responsible for the mix-up. When you're finished, you're going to erase your whiteboards and put the cards for the case back in a neat stack, ready to go back in the bag. You can slip them back in the bag with the case together. So all of case one should be together, all of case two, all of three, and all of four. They should be in this nice bag. They should be ziplocked so they don't fall out and they're ready for the next group. When you've completed those steps, you can put it nicely back into the box for the next group to start using. Remember, this game is about having fun. So there shouldn't be any arguing or disagreements. You should be solving a mystery using your math brain.